Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSERV. BIMSERV provides comprehensive BIM and CAD outsourcing services supporting clients through all stages from concept to construction. BIMSERV integrates with your design process to form a virtual studio. BIMSERV delivers entire suite of services from Revit modeling and detailing to clash detection, quantity takeoff and 5D modeling. In this tutorial, we learn how to make a gable roof in Revit. A gable roof is a double sloping roof with a central ridge and forms a gable at the ends. Now let's start by switching to level 2 from the project browser since the base of the roof will start from this level. Moving on to build panel, click here to open this roof drop down. Here you have different ways to make a roof. I am going to select roof by footprint. Before I start, here in the options bar you can see that the defined slope checkbox is checked and no overhang size has been defined. So let's change the overhang to 2 feet and keep the rest as default. Now keep the pick wall selection from the draw panel as same and start clicking on these walls one by one. Once you're done, you will notice that the roof edge join automatically to form a closed loop. Each edge has a slope sign next to them, indicating that the roof is sloped in that direction. Since I'm making a gable roof, I only want two sides to be sloped, so let's remove two of the sloping sides. Click on this roof edge and then from the options bar, uncheck the defined slope checkbox. Repeat the same step for the opposite roof edge as well. Now, when I click on this sloping edge here, the slope angle is shown. You can change it here itself by just clicking on it. Let's change it to 40 degrees for now and do the same thing for the opposite one as well. Once done, I am going to finish making my roof and this dialog box tells me whether I want to join the walls to the roof or not appears. I am going to say yes. Now switch to 3D view. The roof is not how I want it to be so I am going to switch back to level 2 and then select the roof. Let's edit it by clicking on edit by footprint from this mode panel. Now I am going to hold control button and select the sloping edges one by one and then uncheck the define slope checkbox. Similarly, select the other remaining two edges and then check the define slope checkbox this time. Once done making the roof, switch back to 3D view. The roof is how I want it to be. Now, I am going to switch to level 2 once again and cut a section here in the middle. Then, go to the section view and select the roof. Let's zoom in to roof edge first. Here, in the type selector, it shows me that the roof selected is a generic 12 inch roof by default. Let's change it to wood rafter 8 inch asphalt shingle insulated roof. Then below in the properties palette itself, it shows me different constraints and properties of the roof like its base level, offset from the base level. As I scroll down, you can see that the rafter cut is plumb cut. Let's change it to 2 cut square and then change the fascia depth to 1 feet. Then change the truce to a rafter and apply it. Now the edge of the roof has been changed. I have an option of changing the slope from here as well. So this way my roof is now complete and it's just the way I wanted. You can experiment more with different settings and this ends the tutorial on gable roof.